Hey everybody, thanks for swinging back by to visit with me. I greatly appreciate you. Today I want to show you something that once again people think that I will want. Um, they know that I like to upcycle, keep things out of the landfill, and I really truly do my best. So the last day retreat that I went to, um, it's a lot of scrapbookers, usually the majority are, and one of the ladies named Linda came over and asked me if I wanted these boxes. Um, they're from Stampin' Up, but these are some nice boxes. And I guess what happens is they get a kit every month. You know, many of us belong to some kind of club like that. So... I said, well, let me think about it. So she put like four, five, six over there to the side, and I thought about it. Well, then another lady came up, and there were a couple that were pretty already. They didn't all look the same like this, and I guess they had the label and stuff on them, but I guess she didn't care. Anyway, I said, okay, I'll take the four, and I'll see what I can do with them. Well, I decided that I was going to cover them because, in my opinion, I mean, the polka dots is pretty cool, but it's not, you know, really something with the label on it that, I don't know, that I could reuse. So, I took the box and totally flattened it out to see what size it would be. And it's not really too bad. So at work, <laughs> the very next day, one of the ladies that does our supplies said that someone, I guess at Christmas time, would get a lot of calendars and stuff, that a company had sent these posters in and that nobody wanted them to use as calendars. I mean, and I can't really blame them. There's no true place to write. This is a big old poster for a little bit of calendars. And I'm sorry to the company that this belongs to, but it's nothing that we really wanted to use. So I thought about it, and I said, you know, I could probably use those posters to cover those boxes. And that's exactly what I did. And I think they are pretty cool. I mean, that's like a Ferris wheel. Now, these are virtual photos, but that's a Ferris wheel. And this is some baseball field. And, and to me, it's pretty neat. And here's the other. So I can get two boxes out of one poster. Now I didn't realize that when I did it at first. I kind of just plopped the first box down in the middle and then unfortunately threw the rest of the poster away. But now this is half of the poster. I know that I can get two boxes out of these posters. So I have like I think two more whole posters to go. So I can do five more boxes. And it's so funny to me because then she gave me four, and I thought, well, that's cool, that's good. Do you believe the other day I messaged her and asked her if she had 12 more? I have a plan, something that I want to do for um, an upcoming occasion, and I just thought it would be pretty neat to give everybody one of these boxes. I thought maybe what I would do is put their name down the spine, set them up as if they were books. That's my plan anyway. And of course, you can always take and use wallpaper. I mean, um, excuse me, well, wallpaper too. But this is gift wrap. And to me, I just did the outside, whoop, did I glue it together? The outside of the box. And um, I didn't do the inside. So, I don't know. I really like it. I guess I hadn't taken that one apart since I glued it. I thought everything had dried. But anyway, my point to all of this is think about things that you have before you throw them in the trash or if someone else is going to throw them in the trash. I'm telling you, when the word gets out that you want to upcycle, you will not believe the things that people will give you. And, I mean, it's kind of fun to see what you can come up with. Now, I will say that sometimes you have to sit on it a little while before you can come up with an idea that, that you want to use. But then, just this week, this came in the mail. Okay? 
And I thought to myself, what in the world? And it was in my mailbox, so it didn't have my name on it. So I thought, well, somebody does not want this. Well, look at it. It is this fold-out poster. So let me see if I can do this. I don't know. This fold-out poster where one whole side is this print. And it's got, you know, the nine panels. The other side is this print. So I'm thinking that I can get two more boxes out of this paper. Again, not sure what I would have done with this. Yeah, I could have put it in a journal, cut it up, you know, whatever. But how cool. So here, I can save this now from going to the landfill or, you know, cutting it into more scraps that I don't need. I can, for the most part, use this on two more boxes. So if my math is right, I asked for 12 boxes. I have enough paper now, keeping it out of the landfill, for seven more boxes. And I'm sure some more paper will appear, like blueprint paper. Remember, in my Etsy shop, I sell rolls of blueprints. These are just some of the scraps that I've used from time to time. But blueprints that we have are 24 by 30 inches wide. I can probably get two more boxes out of those. Now, they might be a little thin. I'm going to have to see how they will, you know, cover up the box. And if you can see through it, I don't really want them to be able to be seen through. That right there looks pretty good. So I might be back in business with some more, you know, just paper that I have. Keep it out of the landfill. So anyway, I hope you like this idea. You know, put on your thinking cap. And like I said, let people know, you know, hey, don't throw that away. I can do something with that. And then eventually they will start bringing things to you that you won't even have to ask anymore. Well, it's a stormy, rainy day here in Georgia. And I took the day off, actually, because I didn't want to do that drive with this storm. So I figured I'd stop in, just say hello, show everybody this little ditty. And anyway, I appreciate you. Please tell your friends to subscribe. And if you haven't, subscribe to my channel. I am trying to, you know, hit that minimum of a 1,000 subscribers, like every YouTuber at least wants to have. And I got a little ways to go. So anyway, I do appreciate you, and stop by again, and don't forget to give me that thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. And remember, if you see my buddy Mike Rowe, tell him, Elaine says hello. See you all down the road. Bye.